Inca Inchi Oil. Uh, everybody goes, what? Inca watch? So it's Inca Inchi Oil, and it comes from the Inca Inchi seed. And the seed grows at around 1600 meters above sea level. It's really high in omega-3s. It's also got omega-6s and 9s in it, but its highest is in omega-3s. It's 48% omega-3 and 84% um, essential uh, fatty acids. So that's your omega-6s and, and your 3s. So if you buy this as a cosmetic, you will pay around $100 for about 30 mil. So this is 250 mil and it's around the $30 mark, but how do I use it? Yes, I use it on my skin and I throw some of 28's beautiful essential oils in it, but other ways that I use it is I make my pestos, my mayonnaises, my salad dressings. So I use it as a food. So I use it in place of fish oils um, because I find that the even though I love fish oils, I'd rather eat it with the fish. Um, we also um, need our omega-3s and our body is very good at converting omega-3s into DHA and EPA as long as you are eating the right foods and, and doing the right thing by your body and at Changing Habits we teach you that. This is not about you taking a pill or, or doing one thing, this is an education program um, and in Kinchi Oil every time I eat mayonnaise or every time I make a salad dressing or have a pesto I know that I'm getting my omega-3s. Um, and I'm not um, using, you know, fish in order to extract their fat out of it. Um, like I said, I think fish oil is brilliant, um, but I don't like the taste of it, especially in my mayonnaises and my, um, in my pestos and in my salad dressings, but I love this inky inky oil. So use it on your skin, put it in your baths as, a, as an oil bath with essential oils, use it as a carrier oil in massage, and you can consume it. And remember, it's expensive as a cosmetic, but as a food, and it's exactly the same thing. As a food, you can purchase it from Changing Habits um, at, a, at, a, at a very reasonable price. Thanks for listening, everybody. Bye.